May the 10th, 2024. Guys, you're looking at current images of our sun, and we've had another very strong X flare right there. Same sunspot, 3664. This one was uh, stronger than the last several that we've had. We, I think it was a 3.4. We'll take a look at it. Now, they have not put this on the tracker. And the timing of the tracking has not changed as far as the impact of the three CMEs that we saw coming. Again, this one has not been tracked. Now, this is kind of wraps it up, this chart. Right here, we got an X 3.9. Today, these are three days. See the different segments? But this is 3.9, almost a four, right at it. Still at a 60% chance of more X flares. Here are the four in 48 hours. Again, the last one was this 3.9. Now, this is a picture of that of the halo, the very large one, guys, that's black that we've got coming in. Here's the sunspot, and here's a three-day chart starting today of our uh, KP index, one through nine. And when you get into purple and red, you're getting serious here, and this is for tomorrow. But remember, May 11th is universal time. This thing is going to hit us about 5 p.m. this afternoon on the East Coast. And you can go from there, 6 p.m. Central Time. But look at the size of this thing. In G4 storm predicted, that magnetic storm is the strongest in 20 years. That encompasses uh, two solar cycles. Think about that. It says the largest solar flare yet produced by AR3664 was just observed at 654 UTC time. The X 3.9 blast is associated with a Type 2 radio emission with an estimated velocity of 1,248 kilometers per second. That's incredibly fast, guys. 900 kilometers per second is 2 million miles an hour. Along with a 10 centimeter radio burst, 10 flares, what they call it, measuring 900 SFU and lasting 16 minutes, a coronal mass ejection is now becoming visible and it appears the main bulk is headed to the west, but there will likely still be an Earth-directed component. Now, what they're saying is the Earth is kind of right in here on the sun, below the equator, and, and centered as far as these satellites and our perspective is, and it's slightly to the right, and that's what they're saying. They are expecting the main section of this blast to blow to the right of our planet. Now, one of the links... On our website at bpearthwatch.com is spaceweather.com. Just scroll down the left side of all the different uh, links that are there, and it's going to give you a good bit of information. What we'll be watching today is the Discover satellite. Now, very quickly here, five CMEs are headed for Earth. Now, they don't have the fifth one tracking in. That fifth one, guys, could be from that X 3.9, almost an X4. Here, you're seeing Venus and Mercury approaching and as we watch all of these Halo CMEs. But back up at the top now, click on Discover right there. Now, we're definitely in the calm before the storm situation here. You've got three charts. This is the density. This is the energy that's in that cloud of protons that's coming, and it is going to be very powerful. Notice how low it is right now. It's like a vacuum before it gets here. We are like two, if you notice at the top number up there, 291 dropping down here, 168, and the chart on the CME uh, tracker goes up to 100. And it doesn't usually do that. They kind of scale it to what they're expecting coming in. Also, solar wind speed, 433. That's a little above average, but that's because we have a coronal opening in the northern hemisphere of the sun, and it's allowing extra solar wind to uh, blast out towards our planet. Then here's your temperature. The temperature, it will correlate with the speed. The higher the speed gets, you'll see the temperature go up. Now, sometimes the density will be different from that. In other words, the faster the wind, the thinner the particles are. It's like a, the fire uh, smoke on a fire outside. The faster that wind's blowing, the smoke is thinner, right? It's not as thick, and that's what proton density does as the solar wind increases. But this is going to jump today, all three of these. But this is where you watch it. And we got very low uh, plasma density right now, around 2, 440 of solar wind. And then your temperature at 1.43 right there. And all, again, 
it's kind of everything's kind of cruising solar wind speeds just up maybe 100 kilometers per second above average but that's it everything's very quiet now let's take a look at this chart again and uh, not much has changed we've got four cmes that are showing on the sun now we have a fifth one coming and if we stop this right there close to the impact time that's the 10th at 2300 hours that's today that is 1700 hours east coast which is 5 p.m. today. That's the impact point of this CME. Then there's going to be a second impact from this one right here. Play it forward. And you can see that on the chart right there. Not anything compared to this one. Notice, again, that our solar wind speed around 400, and they're expecting this thing to go up to possibly 900, 2 million miles an hour. But the blast, in the at, we're leaving at 12 hundred kilometers per second well above nine now on your plasma density it was around 1.6 to 2 as we look at it just then on the discovery satellite but they're expecting this thing to climb close to a hundred that is plasma density centimeters cube how thick it is and that is very strong i guess i would not doubt at all tectonic pressure on our plates we know that the strongest geomagnetic storm in 20 years is approaching so we, you know it's not a lot you can do about it other than be aware that it's happening protect your electronics and things like that but guys i will update this this afternoon especially when we see the uh, discover satellite start picking up that increased solar wind speed that's going to be important because that's going to indicate just maybe minutes before the strike because it's moving so fast. A normal speed, early warning from the Discover satellite is 30 to 45 minutes. You can cut that down a little bit again because of the increased speed. Guys, I'm watching this throughout the day. You watch it, it's a heads up, be safe.